How's it going guys? I'm your host Corban Gaming. Welcome back to another Let's Play Dragon Fable episode. So it's been a week since we last uh, visited uh, this Let's Play Dragon Fable series. In fact, it's been two weeks. So first off, uh, before I start the video, I just wanted to say Happy Frost World to all of you guys. As you guys can see, we have the new seasonal borders out right now. Okay, And before I really start the video, uh, there's also one more thing. That I really need uh, your guys help with So you guys know that I don't really ask you guys for anything To be very honest Apart from your uh, like and subscribes Which really doesn't cost you guys anything So today once again guys I need your help Alright so what do I need your help with Is this basically Alright so this is Elena's Twitter For those of you guys who don't know Elena is actually uh, the one of the game leads of AQ Worlds and she's uh, higher up one of the higher ups of uh, Artix Entertainment probably just below Artix himself I'm not 100% sure but yeah so recently she tweeted out this okay uh, who are your favorite AQ streamers and who are your favorite DF streamers so for those of you guys who don't know okay uh DF and AQ, in my opinion, is not really a game that is meant to be streamed. I feel that AQ Worlds and AQ 3D are more meant for streaming, but you know, uh, for someone who does videos, I think it's somewhat in a similar vein. So what I need you guys to help me with is basically, you know, just uh, spam reply this tweet with the link to my channel. Hopefully I get noticed and you know, maybe if I get a partnership of some sorts, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, we will... I will be able to showcase more uh, cool stuff for you guys and maybe you know we have a working relation an actual like official working relation with AE themselves then you know maybe I have the chance or opportunity to showcase more things to you guys maybe talk about some things uh, that are in development you know all that sort of good stuff right so help me out by sending my channel link down to this tweet okay reply to a tweet down below with my channel link and i'll really really appreciate all of your guys help in this matter all right so now that that's out of the way another thing i'd like to cover first okay is the new stuff that we have this week because we had the in at the age of time so i didn't get to cover this okay uh ooh, oh wait they actually re removed it already oh wait no they haven't uh december dc specials okay so this one we have the blessing of keanu's cape Alright, so let's take a look. Uh, this one is a returning item. I remember seeing this last year. 200 DCs is not uh, best in slot for anything, I think. Don't quote me on this. It might be... No, it's definitely not best in slot for fire resist. Uh, ice resist, I'm not 100% sure. No, wait. Wings of a Thousand Flames is still better. So yeah, this one, only if you like the artwork, then you can get it. Otherwise, you can pass this up. Uh, Severize Scythe. This one is a cosmetic, a peculiar side used by nomads of the past to defend themselves against the frost dragons far up in the Northlands. So purely cosmetic and this was created by Dracerlix. Uh, oh no, I think it looks not bad but the theme though, this one almost looks like it comes from another game. I don't know how to describe it. But yeah, it doesn't really look very Dragon Fable theme to me. Oh, I know, I'll rate this like a 7 out of 10 since this is a cosmetic item. So yeah, get it if you like it. Otherwise, you can pass this up. I don't think I'll be get getting this on my main simply because it's just a cosmetic item and I'm not like a super big fan of it. Like, I think it looks good. It doesn't look ugly in any way. But uh, yeah, I think there are stuff that looks better. So I'm going to pass this item up. Get it if you guys like the looks of it. Right, so today we also have the Frostville storybook which means that uh, as with tradition with this series like what I did for Mogoween, okay we will be uh, visiting the Frostville storybook okay the first few chapters let's see how many we can do alright so instead of doing main story we are going to be doing the Frostville storybook chapters and it's kind of weird because you can see here on this character I haven't done anything uh, but I can unlock chapter 11, 12, 13 and 14 Huh, very weird. But the chapters 2 to 10 are locked. Does this mean that 2 to 10 are interlinked? Like 1 to 10 are interlinked and then 11 to 15 are their own things? I don't really know. To be honest, uh, I can't really remember either because I don't really keep track of seasonal stories. But yeah, it's quite interesting. Okay, so this account has not done anything yet, obviously. But 11 to 14 is unlocked, whereas 2 to 10 is locked. Very weird. But today we'll be starting off with chapter 1. In fact, we are just going to be doing, uh, trying to do as much as we can for this episode. And then we will probably not revisit it anymore since these are the uh, 
earliest frost veil quests. Let's go ahead and see what we have. Alright, so our very first frost veil. All the Moglins in the town of Frostwell have gone missing, well, all except one. Blizzy has come to Falcon Reach to ask for your help. It is now up to you, the greatest hero in the land, to save the Moglins of Frostwell. Our story opens in the frozen town of Frostwell where Lord Master Maya and Blizzy awaits you. Frostwell Tale Act 1. Ooh, okay. Thank goodness you are here. Ice Master Yeti kidnapped every Moglin in Frostwell. Everyone is fighting now to get them back. Oh, interesting. So what, was Ice Master Yeti evil to begin with? Oh, and here are the Defender's Shops. I think this was the first time where Defender's items were introduced. And this was a war, I think. Let's see here. Oh, okay, to battle. It just brings us here. Frost Mushroom. Let's see what we have. Weak to fire. Uh, we can use our fire gem daggers here, I guess. Nice. Okay, so we only need to kill one. Ooh. Okay. Treasure chest up atop there. I think I remember vaguely uh, regarding this quest. Yeah, I have some recollection of it. Maybe not this one. I think they reused the, the map in like a later level, right? I know one of the more recent quests, the one whereby you unlock the uh, Pala Chili guess. Yeah, I think they reused the map. What? Fin flooders. Stand aside, monster. I'm here to save the Moglins from Ice Master Yeti. Far, far too late. For Frost Foglins, far, for ready, fiend, foe to for poucher. <laughs> far, 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 far. Fling fit fawn. Uh, what? I say fate, fling fit fawn. Whatever, mushmouth, bring it on. That's what I fate. <laughs> okay, slash room. Okay, I think this is the boss. I'm not sure what's in that treasure chest. Knowing the old, the earlier quests, it's probably just a bit of gold, uh, like bonus gold for the quest. That's what they usually have for like the earlier quests inside of the game. They're these little sort of like Easter eggs, and like you, you know, you can pick up some extra gold along the way. Like there are some items along, uh, like scattered throughout the quests, and you can pick them up for bonus EXP and gold. We did recently see that in the batch bingo speedrun, or I did recently see that. Okay, I didn't showcase it on camera because uh, that wouldn't have been ideal for the run, but in the stocking the shelves quest for Nightera, I figured that there were some items scattered here and there. If you pick them up, you could get some bonus EXP and gold. So I think this is probably the same. Oh, so this is just a mega maze. Looks like we went the wrong way. That's fine. So that was more like a mini boss, not the main boss. So yeah, let's continue exploring. Oh, also guys, I leveled up off camera. In case you guys were wondering why I'm level 21 instead of level 20. So I leveled up off camera uh, using the daily quest. That's basically all I did. And yeah, you guys didn't really miss out anything much. So in next week's episode, then we'll continue with the main story for Dragon's Quest. But for this episode, we are going to be doing Frostfield Storybook. Okay, so this is the wrong way. Let's head up here. Let's see what we find. Slicicle. Ooh, this one is a big trigger. Is he another mini boss? So yeah, some of the older questers, they also have mini bosses inside of them. Not just like regular bosses, but they have mini bosses as well. Oh, wait, no, I was wrong. So it's a shop. Okay, melee defense one, charisma one. This is a level one helm. Uh, is it better than the current helm? No. So we can pass this. Oh, okay, there we are. The Morgan Chili is in there. Why are we waiting? Oh, and you are healed as well. Shh. We've done tests. The Morgan's healing abilities do not work on the undead. They are useless to us. There will be no payment. That wasn't part of the deal. I did the job. I got you the Moglins. We are not paid for useless goods. I'm sure that you can find something to do with them. You look like you could use a snack. So voucher you double crosser, but you did have a point. I am hungry. I've heard enough. Ice Master Yeti, return to return to Moglins. I'll let you walk out of this cave. We return the Moglins. You, you destroy every one of my minions and now I don't have a single gold piece to show for my trouble. This is your last warning for a ball. Let the Moglins go. That is a fantastic idea. I'll let them go. Papa. Chili, 
Let's play DM, we have to help them. Okay, Yeti, what do you want? Uh, she turned out of a lot of gold hero. I can't leave empty handed, so you hand over that juicy weapon filled backpack of yours and I'll let you have the more greens. Uh, no, we have 12,000 gold in here and I don't feel like giving any of it away. Uh, no thanks. Wait, what? The end. Thus ends a Frostville tale. Without thinking twice, you turn your back on Blizzy, Chili, and the other Frostville Morgans and walk out of the cave. The Morgans were never ever seen or heard from again. Their small town fell silent forever. It is rumored among the Morgans of the world that the town is haunted by the ghosts of those who once lived there in peace and happiness. There was no festival created to remember the day that a brave hero saved them from this terrible fate. No magical weapons or items are created for you as a special thank you from the citizens of Frostville. Well, way to go guilt tripping us like that. As a result of the attack on Frostville, Morgans become afraid of all strangers and go deep into hiding, taking their magic from the world forever. But hey, at least you have your items, right? Now you have to go back and rewrite adventure quests. Thanks. <laughs> what the try? <China? laughs> Wait, what? What the heck? Uh, no, continue. <laughs> Wait, 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 what? Oh, oops. Should not have done that. Okay, just stay. <laughs> uh, now they have to go and rewrite adventure quests. You know, I think it would be interesting if we had a What If Dragon Fable series. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's go ahead and explore here since we are redoing the quest anyway. So let's see what's inside this uh, box here. Maybe it's another shop for something else. Potion box. Oh, okay. So nothing special there. <clears throat> You know, I have a lot of ideas on stuff to do for videos, not necessarily uh, gameplay videos, maybe like, you know, just uh, videos talking and all that kind of stuff. I think it would be quite interesting, like, if I did a What If or series for Dragon Fable and Adventure Quest, like, what if some things changed here, or what if some things changed there, what would Dragon Fable have turned out to be, or what? would the story of AQ have turned out to be, you know, you know what I'm saying? I think that'll be quite interesting to do, but of course, I do think that, uh, in order to make it, like, watchable without me just, you know, talking and rambling over the background, like, I'm going to have to do a lot of work on the graphics as well, so, yeah. Uh, that is probably not going to happen soon, unless... Any of you guys would like to volunteer to edit videos for me? <laughs> Otherwise, I don't really think I'll be making a video series on that soon. I do think it'll be very interesting. Like, I do have some ideas for a script and some sort. And I do have a lot of ideas on what kind of what-if scenarios I want to play out. But yeah, currently I am obviously not big enough to hire a YouTuber. No, not hire a YouTuber, what I'm talking about. Hire an editor, you know, to edit videos for me. If if any one of you guys would like to volunteer editing for my videos, I would really appreciate that. You guys can go ahead and shoot me an email if you're interested, and I'll be sure to credit you. Of course, uh, it won't be for every single video, and of course, this will be completely voluntary, but if you guys have uh some skills in editing it doesn't matter which editing software if you have some basic skills in editing you know maybe you can send me a copy of your password uh through my email okay the email is in the about section of my youtube page and then you know uh if i think you're up for the job then sure why not maybe you can work something out right and of course uh in return you guys will get over get more content as well Okay, hand over backpack. You leave me no choice, monster. My items are yours. Good, now kick the backpack over here. Foolish hero, now I have you and the Morgans right where I want you. Not so tough without your items, are you? Hee hee hee. Come on everyone, let's play DF needs our help now. Use all your healing magic. Oh, wow. No, no, what are you doing? Here, hero, your items. Show this overgrown carpet what that... What happens to cheaters? Shimo is blatantly impossible and exists purely for bragging rights on the forums. Blatantly impossible. 1021. This seems very possible to me. Uh, he also has no immobility resistance. Yeah. Blatantly impossible. Really? I think it's pretty possible. Why are the older quests so exaggerated? <laughs> With what's impossible? Like, come on. This is very, very possible. Even as an old player... Like, even uh, for like the old system, with the old items, maybe you don't have your new OP items and all of that. I'm pretty sure it's still possible. Yeah, very, very possible. Maybe even without Baby Dragon. I don't even think you really need Baby Dragon. 
Oops. I should have stunned the turn later. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, blatantly impossible, still very possible. He's not doing a lot of damage. His health is probably the only double of ours, which, you know, isn't the toughest thing considering we out damage him by so much. Uh, let's do blind. Bragging rights on the forums, huh? I guess a lot of people must be bragging back in the past then. <laughs> I mean, did the forums even exist back in the day? Or do people even use the forums back in the day? Or maybe they do. Yeah, I think a lot more people use the forums back in the day compared to now where, you know, everyone is just using the Discord. There we go. I suppose we pull this lever. You made your choice and the destiny of the Mogwins of Frostware has been set into motion. Okay, so this was the starting point for everything. So if we had made the other choice, then I guess everything wouldn't have existed. Okay. Uh, now what? Wait, what? Uh, that's the end of it, I guess. Huh. Thank goodness. Uh, okay. To storybook. That's the end of that. Chapter 2. Wait. Act 2. Oh, oh, oh. Act 2 is here. Huh. You have saved Frost where all the Moglins are back in town. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, nothing much. Thanks. A year after the defeat of Ice Master Yeti, the town of Frostville has come under attack by an army of frost monsters. Lord Master Maya has sent a special request asking to help defend the peaceful town from this unexplained invasion. Okay, so yeah, looks like Ice Master Yeti is still evil. He used to be evil. After somewhere along the way, he turned good. It's very good to see you again, especially with everything that is going on. Yes. Let's go. Oh, a Frostville tale. Mysterious waves of ice monsters are attacking the village of Frostville. You must defeat waves of them and make your way to the source, the Yeti cave to save Frostville. This symbol means that a cutscene unlocks at this point in the war. Okay. Where are we? I have no idea. Continue. Uh, Cutscene 1. Do you think that these monsters will go away in time for Frostville? I hope so, Chili. All of us, your dad, the other heroes and I are trying our best to drive them back. The problem is that nobody knows why these monsters are attacking or what they want. I think that I know why. You? Tell me what you know, Chili. I think I better show you instead. It's in my our basement. Typo again. Follow me. Okay. Wow, nice box collection. Are you guys secretly Sneevels? These are all old supply crates. We store them and use them for firewood during the cold months. Cold months? There are warm months in Frostville? <laughs> so what is this thing you wanted to show me? It's okay, you can come out. Uh, he will help us, I know it. If you say so, then I'll trust you, Chili. Ice Master Yeti. Yeah, uh, how's it going? Chili, what's going on? It's okay, he's a good guy now. Oh, okay, so chapter 2, he turns into a good guy already. That was fast. What, Chili? This is the creature that tried to eat you last year. He's right, Hero. I've defected. That is part of the reason that all the ice monsters are attacking town. They are looking for me. Okay, someone explain how this happened or I'm just going to start fighting something. It's easy. When you had me and the other Moglins captive last year, we talked a lot. At first, he wouldn't listen to me. But this kid just wouldn't shut up about how his papa was going to save him. I would have bet my life that he was wrong. Then you and Blizzy did show up. I was shocked. i never seen that kind of thing before. I mean, you gave me all of your items just for the chance to save the Moglins. That took guts and something else. It took heart. I joined Sepulcher because I was scared of him and my army joined me because I scared them. But when I saw how much Blizzy cared for the kid and when I saw your selflessness... Selflessness... Okay, typo here. I don't know how to say it. It changed something in me. It got me thinking about some things. Chili was right, even though I took him and held him captive. So when I told Sabaltra that I was done and a new guy took over my cave, I didn't know where else to turn. When he showed up and asked for a place to hide, I couldn't say no. It wouldn't have been in a Frostville spirit. I knew there was good in him. Sabaltra hadn't driven it from him fully, so I gave him a warm place to hide. Does Blizzy know about this? No, we can't tell Papa. He wouldn't understand. He's still mad at Ice Master Yeti. I'm sorry, Chili. Ice Master Yeti may have changed or may not, but everyone in the village will have something to say about it. He's right. I want to tell all of Frostville. I don't want them to be scared of me. Well, okay, I'll go get everyone. And so Chili calls the town together for a town meeting. Ice Master Yeti crawled from the tiny door, and the entire village began to panic. Papa Moglin and you were able to quickly calm, all, calm them all down, and the village listened as Ice Master Yeti told his tale. But the rest of Moglins of Frostville were not as quick to forgive as Chili seemed to be. 
Chili, this monster cannot stay in the village. But Papa, no, he captured the entire village. He's too dangerous to stay here. The village agrees. He's right, my boy. The Frost Moglins have spoken. Ice Master Yeti, you are to leave here at once. No, you can't leave him out in the cold with all those monsters after him. It's alright, Chili. Thanks for trying. I'll always be grateful for all the kindness that you've shown me. The heroes have cleared enough space for me to hide in my hide in on my own anyway. It's safer for you that way. No. Hey, don't cry, kid. I'm tough. I'll be okay. Maybe we'll run into each other one again once he has made Frost feel safe again. I can't believe that I'm saying this, but be careful out there, Ice Master. Thanks, Hero. I'm counting on you to keep Chili safe. Don't let me down. I will. One last thing. Can you give us any clue on who is behind these attacks? Last year, he found out that the Moglin's healing magic wouldn't work for his undead army. But the healing weapons do work for you, heroes. It's caused him a lot of trouble. He wants to destroy Frostville and end the Moglin's healing magic. That's why he's having the village attacked. That explains a lot. But we still don't know who is leading the Frost Monster forces. Oh, didn't I mention that already? The forces of the Frost Monsters are being lead. By Sen. Oh. Okay. Thus ends this part of the Legend of Frost. The next portion unlocks at the next mark on the map. So, yeah, you can see here for the older quests, you know, simpler times, simpler enemies, you know, people being evil just for the sake of being evil. And uh, as quickly as they are to turn evil, they also turn to good really, really quickly. So yeah, very, very simple storytelling times you guys can see here. Like we've definitely come a long way. Like all the plots now, like it is not so simple and straightforward. And while I do appreciate a bit more depth and complexity in terms of plot, but at the same time, I also do, uh, there's just something about the simplicity of the plot back in the past that really attracted me as a kid. Not that I actually read the story in the past, but yeah, I, uh, it's something that is iconic for like an old school game like Dragon Faber, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so back in the past, ooh, the walls were only 1,200 waves. Wow. And to think... Nowadays, you can have people doing 10,000 waves, one person alone. 1,200 waves would have taken them, like, what, one day to clear it? Like, had it been any of the warmongers, it would have taken them one day. One person, one day, just to clear all the waves. <laughs> right, but yeah, simpler times, you know, lesser players, simpler plots. Cutscene 2, let's see what we have. So Sand, the insane pyromancer is behind all this. Is he dangerous? Yes, he's very dangerous and unpredictably crazy. That might explain why a fire mage is controlling an army of frost monsters. He can't stand the cold, which is good news for us. If we defeat his army, then we shouldn't have to bother with him. He'll just get tired of the cold and go back to playing with fire on his own. So you don't plan on fighting him? That's good. If he's as dangerous as you say, you might get hurt. I'm afraid that things aren't that simple, my friends. Who? Who said that? Show yourself. Fear not, Winter Revelers, for we have come to help you save Frostville. Oh, behold, I'm the ghost of Frostville Future. Oh, wow. And this? For those of you guys who don't play AQ and don't recognize this, this is a character model from Adventure Quest? Wow. I also have with me the ghost of Frostville present. Oh, and this is uh, Dragon Fable's model. Let me guess. Frostville Pass is Mech Quest. And the ghost of Frostville Pass. Mary Frost here. Yep, I was right. We've come to warn you of the danger that you currently face. So back in the days, all of this was linked. Mech Quest led up to Dragon Favor, and Dragon Favor eventually led up to AQ. And obviously at this time, AQ Wars wasn't even a thing yet. So yeah, back in the day, this was how it was like. Wow. Uh, nowadays, of course, that's no longer the case. Mech Quest and Dragon Faber are still on the same timeline, but Adventure Quest uh, is its own timeline, and so is Adventure Quest Worlds. Unless something is done, Frost will be ruined, and the war of law will meet its end, frozen in an eternal blanket of ice. Pass, we can hear you just fine, you don't need to be that loud. I can't help it, I'm more than 5,000 years old. The volume knot on the PA system is broken. Okay, okay, just whisper or something. I am whispering. <laughs> Back to the task at hand. Present is quite right, Sen is a large threat, larger threat than you imagine right now. Ever since he unlocked his Frost powers, he's been calling himself Santa Claus, and his icy powers will only grow. If his powers keep growing by this time next year, Law will be a dead world completely encased in ice. We have come to awaken what little Frostville spirit there is within him. It's kind of what we do. We are very good at what we do, but should we fail, the burden of stopping Santa Claus falls on you, hero. If it comes down to battle, you will only be able to stop him if you get... Haha. -ha. What the? That guy just took out present. 
Oh god, it's Artix <laughs> here to ruin the day. Hey, stop that. Yeah, thanks Artix. And that takes care of that. Those spirits won't be haunting anyone anytime soon. Artix, you just no need to thank me, friend. That's what paladins do. Did, did Artix just exorcise the ghosts of Frostville past, present, and future? Not in that order, but yes. Can't believe that just happened. I guess it's up to me. Well, I guess that means that it's up to me to stop Santa Claus. These new ice powers of his might be something to worry about after all. Let's go. Okay, with the three spirits of Frostville past, present, and future vanquished by Artix, the fate of Frostville is left to you. Yes, it is. Quest to defeat Santa Claus. It's the same map. The heck? Exactly the same. Wow. Exactly the same. They just changed up the monsters. Uh, I guess simpler times also mean that they didn't really have much resources. No, it can't be. All of their efforts were focused on this and the adventure quest back in the day. But yeah, I guess they couldn't even be bothered to make a new map. For the next year's Frostville. Huh. To think they have one entire year to sort of work on it. I mean, it's amazing how far we've come. Like, uh, right now we only have two people working on Dragon Fable compared to like the entire freaking team of Arctic Entertainment. And yet they are able to achieve so much more than, that, than what was possible in the past. I mean, of course you have your technological advancements and all that that makes things easier. But, uh, yeah, it's quite crazy. Like, back in the past, all they could manage was, like, what, a re-redit of the, like, a reskin of the old quest map. Not even a reskin, like, it just changed out the final boss at the end. Everything is the same here. Like, what the heck? Oh, they removed the Morglins too. Okay, very slight reskin of the old Frostville map, but come on. Come on, man. What, what in the world were they thinking? Yeah, they removed the hanging Morglins, I guess. But, yeah, that's about it. Final. This is not a tough maze to navigate, to be honest, but uh, it is a, a little bit tedious because you have to go up and you have to go one big round basically to get to the end goal. So yeah, that's my only complaint with it. Oh, the weather's outside is delightful, but my fiery ref is frightful, continues to hum. Sand. Good to see you, and I'm quite Santa Claus now, at least for the holidays. Ho ho ho. Keko Keko. So I guess this is like uh not part of the main story. So Santa Claus and his powers are like not canon. Ice Master Yeti is going to be angry when he sees how you've redecorated his place. Hi, you think that wannabe Moglin scares me now that he's gone soft? If he ever comes out hiding, my frost army will take care of him. How does a Pyromancer gain control of an army of frost monsters anyway? Funny story, a short time ago I accidentally fell into a pool of lava. Accidentally fell. Do you want to hear the story or not? Fine, go ahead. As I was saying, I accidentally fell into some lava. The underground magma... Memga, okay, typo here. Currents carried me for a long time. It's not like the lava could hurt a guy whose face is on fire. Eventually, the magma brought me here to a frozen cave near here. That's when I found this. The Egnonomicon. In its pages are all the secrets of the greatest cryomancers in history. A mis... A mystical tome made entirely of ice. But I thought that fire magic was your life, that you hated the cold with a passion. I'm trying something different, stop interrupting. Once the voucher found out where I was, he gave me orders to destroy the frost moglins once and for all. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Listen to me, Sen. I was visited by the ghosts of ghosts of Frostville, past, present, and future. I saw what happens to law if you don't change your ways. Does the planet turn into a giant dead ice ball? Uh, actually, yeah, it does. Great, that was my plan all along. I can't wait for a little peace and quiet. Wiping out those insanely cheerful frost moglins is just the beginning. I'm going to burn their village to the ground. Then when they have no homes to hide in, I'm going to freeze them into extinction. Ha ha ha. That's where I come in. I won't let you or your new minions hurt a single hair on those moglins' heads. Ha, you think you can stop me with my mastery of fire and ice magic? A single rogue could never stand alone against me. Doesn't have to stand against you alone. Ice Master Yeti, sorry hero, I couldn't take the chance of letting you mess this up. I told Chili that I wouldn't let anything happen to him, and that is a promise that I plan on keeping. I was really hoping that you'd bring Wallach along with you so I could kill you both at the same time. But this is a close second, ha ha ha. 
I'm doing this for Chili, but even if I never met him, I'll squish you just for moving my stuff around like this. Ready, hero? Let's do it. Okay. Ice Master Yeti joins. Oh, 1848. Wow. Okay. So it's weak to water, ice, and fire. Oh, Alright. Uh, yeah, we'll stick with fire. Let's do this. Okay, so it didn't work. That's fine. Uh, throw a snowball. Alright, wrap it. Oh, nice. You got a crit. I guess you can't stun him, right? I immobility 80. Yeah, okay. Avalanche. It's the energy element sign, though. Why? Hmm. Troll. Attack. Okay, so all does the same amount of damage, I think. Yeah, there's really nothing special. Okay, so you can hit with ice too. Let's try again with baby dragon. Oh, it actually works. Wow. Baby dragon got a stun off, but I didn't. Wow. Okay. Uh, I guess if you know what you're doing, it's not really a tough fight. Try and stun him, defend if you need to, but... Uh, if he hits Ice Master Yeti often enough, you really shouldn't have any trouble. So yeah, basically just get a good water, ice, or fire weapon, and you should be good to go. So yeah, water, ice, and fire, weak to all three elements. What is he resistant to though? Darkness and stone. Oh, okay. Let's do blind. So yeah, uh, use a bit more defensive skills since he's a bit tankier. But apart from that, should be a pretty easy fight. Ooh. Okay, that was going to hit for big damage. So luckily, he blinded him. Okay, so yeah, the blind is doing its magic. That's good. I'm using the attack because it has the fastest skill animation. Uh, can we finish him off? Come on. Oh, Ice Master Yeti, you are a disappointment. Okay. No, my own fire spells melted the Egg Nomicon. <laughs> wow, I feel kind of dumb now. With that book gone, you should have lost control over your Force Army. Now Ice Master Yeti and I are taking you back to King Altion to answer for your crimes. I don't think so. You won't be taking sand anyway. You're letting me go? Not exactly. Your fire spells also weakened my cave. Ah... Uh, there, Chili is safe. It was fun fighting next to you, like a hero, instead of against you. We should do it again sometime. Will you do me a favor? Let Chili know that I kept my promise to him. I will, Ice Master. You helped save Frostwell and the world. You didn't fight like a hero. You are a hero. I will send word to Frostwell of Sand's defeat. Chili was right to trust you. I'm sorry that I didn't. You really came true today. Thank you. Alright, all swell that ends well. With a little help from Ice Master Yeti, you were able to defeat the newly empowered Santa Claus and save Frostwell. You send word to Frostwell of your victory and they eagerly await the return of their hero. You. Yes, me. Uh, okay. Now what? Is it Act 4? You say Frostville again. Yes, I did say Frostville again. Uh, so yeah, I guess... I will call it a day for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Corbin Gaming. Peace out.